that the two most fearsome air powers in the world belong to the U.S. military. The U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy Aviation are the top two on many lists related to effective air power. There truly is no rival that can match the air combat capability and technology of the American Air Force and Navy. These formidable aircraft are how America continues to dominate the skies. When the first F-22 took off, it became clear that this aircraft wasn't an evolution, but a revolution. Neither America's allies nor its rivals would have anything comparable for many years. Born from the collaboration of aerospace titans Boeing and Lockheed Martin, the F-22 Raptor shines with its ability to supercruise at speeds exceeding Mach 1.5 without the need for afterburners, reaching top speeds of Mach 2.25, all while maintaining unparalleled stealth capabilities. A standout feature of the F-22 is its thrust vectoring capability, which significantly boosts its maneuverability in dogfights. Despite being viewed by some as antiquated, the introduction of a comprehensive upgrade package has transformed the F-22 into the Super Raptor, securing its position as a dominant force in the skies for the next decade or more. The F-22 Raptor marks the first operational fighter to integrate supercruise, advanced maneuverability, stealth and integrated sensor technologies into one formidable package, making it ideally suited for air dominance roles, especially in highly contested environments. Upgrades to the F-22 have focused on enhancing its weapons capabilities, significantly expanding its target range, air-to-air -air attack capabilities, and lock-on launch precision. These enhancements enable the upgraded F-22s to effectively engage and eliminate enemy targets, even those approaching from behind, with increased force, accuracy, and destructive power. Additionally, they incorporate new GPS jam-resistant technologies. The integration of these software-enabled F-22 weapons upgrades, including new versions of the AIM-9X and AIM-120D missiles, has been an ongoing process for several years. One of the upgrades in progress encompasses all aspect infrared search and track, or IRST, capabilities. IRST, short for Infrared Search and Track, is a passive method for detecting and targeting enemy aircraft, especially radar-eluding stealth fighters. IRST systems detect heat signatures, enabling stealth aircraft like the Raptor to locate and lock onto enemy jets without emitting radar signals that would reveal their presence. Given the use of stealth aircraft by adversary air forces, an IRST is now regarded as a crucial sensing capability. Lastly, the AIM-260 long-range radar-guided air-to-air missile will further expand the Raptor's array of Beyond Visual Range, or BVR, weaponry. This aircraft will remain in service until the next generation air dominance fighter is operational with ongoing updates and upgrades to bridge the gap between the F-22 and the NGAD fighter. During its almost 50 years of service, the Eagle was challenged by formidable fighters. It killed them all. There's never been an incident of an F-15 being shot down, and it has so far claimed some 100 kills. The F-15 was crafted around the core concepts of minimal weight and maximum power, enabling it to surpass any adversary it encounters. The design included a higher cockpit placement and the introduction of a new, broad, single-piece windscreen for enhanced visibility. The aircraft was equipped with the latest in onboard system controls, communications and weaponry management 
It also featured Raytheon's revolutionary ANAPG-63 radar, an all-weather multi-mode pulse Doppler radar. This radar set a new standard as one of the initial fire control radars capable of engaging targets at both high and low altitudes effectively without interference from ground reflections. The F-15's twin engines, Pratt & Whitney F-100PW220s or 229s, have a very high thrust-to-weight ratio and can generate almost eight times their own weight in thrust. When you add the plane's relatively light body, which is mostly metal other than the 26 to 27 percent titanium with about 5 to 7 percent composites and low wing load to its powerful engines, you get a fighter that is really fast and agile. While it can cruise at speeds of Mach 0.9, at full force, an F-15 can get up to Mach 2.5, approximately 1,854 miles per hour. Did you know that in 1975, it established a world record by going from a standstill on the ground to an altitude of nearly 100,000 feet in under three and a half minutes? The Eagles can be armed with combinations of different air-to-air -air weapons. AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles on its lower fuselage corners, AIM-9LM Sidewinder or AIM-120 missiles on two pylons under the wings, and an internal 20mm Gatling gun in the right-wing route, as well as the Boeing-built small-diameter Bomb-1, Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM, and Laser JDAM weapons. The latest version, the F-15EX, boasts a striking range that surpasses any other fighter in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. This advanced aircraft stands out with its exceptional ability to carry 12 AMRAMs or other substantial ordnance, setting a new benchmark in aerial combat capabilities. Some call it the missile truck. Imagine a battlefield where your enemy is deafened, with their senses rendered useless. Their radars are jammed, communications are cut off, and all their advanced electronic systems have been turned into mere props. What machine could be capable of such a feat? The answer lies in the realm of electronic warfare, with the aircraft known as the EA-18G Growler. The Growler, based on the proven FA-18F Super Hornet, is more than just a derivative, it is an evolution. The dimensions of the Growler reflect its expanded capabilities. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 66,000 pounds and a carrier landing weight of 48,000 pounds, an increase of nearly 3,000 pounds compared to the FA-18F. This increase in weight is largely due to the integration of advanced avionics and mission systems, transforming the aircraft into a formidable tool of warfare. The cockpit of the Growler is a high-tech space where the pilot and electronic warfare officer work in tandem to operate the aircraft's systems. The cockpit features four 8 by 10 inch liquid crystal displays, or LCDs, and upfront control panel, UFCP. The pilot and electronic warfare officer have identical 8 by 10 inch displays, which provide a larger and clearer picture of the battle situation. This aircraft is also fitted with a joint helmet-mounted queuing system, or JHMCS, allowing the pilot to aim sensors and weapons wherever they're looking. The electronic warfare suite of the Growler is its true power center. Initially, the suite included up to three ANALQ-99 radar jamming pods, an ANALQ-218V2 receiver, and a Raytheon ANALQ-227 communications countermeasures set. The ANALQ-99 jamming pods cover a wide frequency range and can disrupt multiple frequency points simultaneously. 
The ANALQ218V2 receiver, in combination with the jamming pods, provides selective reactive jamming capability and geolocation of emitters. The ANALQ227 system, on the other hand, provides integrated information from onboard and offboard sources to optimize the electronic warfare effects. This suite is rounded off by the ANAPG 79 AESA radar system, which can function in air to air and air to surface modes while providing high resolution synthetic aperture radar mapping. These systems are continuously updated, keeping the Growler at the forefront of electronic warfare. For instance, the next generation Jammer Mid Band or NGJMB system which is currently being integrated, will replace the legacy ANALQ-99 tactical jamming system. This new system will provide improved airborne electronic attack capabilities to disrupt and degrade enemy air defense and ground communication systems. One unique aspect of the Growler's capabilities is that when three Growlers are networked together, they can generate targeting tracks for hostile radio frequency sources in real time. Utilizing data links, the Growler can use its electronic warfare pods to accurately locate signal sources. When one aircraft detects a signal from a source, such as a cell phone, the other two can also listen for the same signal. Each measures the amount of time taken for transmissions to travel from the source to each aircraft, trilaterating the location to an extremely precise area. Despite its proficiency in electronic warfare, the EA-18G Growler remains capable and efficient in traditional combat scenarios. This aircraft can carry AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles for self-defense. Growler can also carry AGM-88 High-Speed Anti-Radiation Missiles, or HARM, and the Advanced AGM-88E Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile, or AARGM, both designed to target enemy radar systems. The Growler has significant air-to-ground capabilities. It can carry a range of smart bombs, including laser-guided bombs and GPS-guided Joint Direct Attack Munitions, or JDAMs. In addition, the aircraft can be equipped with the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon, or JSAW, and the AGM-84 Harpoon Anti-Ship Missile, further expanding its strike capabilities. The F-35 Lightning II, a cornerstone of modern air power and technological marvel, comes with a price tag as hefty as its reputation. Designed and developed as the Pentagon's premier fifth-generation fighter, the F-35's journey from the drawing board to the skies is a testament to both innovation and controversy due to its staggering costs. Initially projected at $200 billion, the program's overall cost has ballooned to over $400 billion, with lifetime expenses estimated at a breathtaking $1.7 trillion. This astronomical figure covers the acquisition, operation and sustainment of the fleet, making the F-35 program one of the most expensive in the Department of Defense's history. Yet between the controversies and eye-watering price tag lies a warplane that seeks to redefine the very nature of aerial combat. The F-35 is not designed to win through sheer speed or outmaneuver its adversaries like the classic dogfighters of old. Instead, this fifth-generation fighter leverages information dominance and cutting-edge technology to seize control of the battle space in fundamentally new ways. At its heart, the F-35 is a flying sensor and data processing hub. Its powerful Active Electronically Scanned Array, or AESA, radar and suite of long-range sensors hungrily devour information from the surrounding environment. 
Onboard computers then fuse this data along with inputs from the networked assets in the air, on the ground and at sea into a real-time simplified tactical picture for the pilot. This unparalleled situational awareness allows an F-35 pilot to see the battle space more clearly and react far faster than any opponent relying on older technology. Its integrated sensor package and the Electro-Optical Targeting System, or EOTS, allow pilots to identify, track and engage targets at long distances, significantly enhancing mission effectiveness. The F-35's information advantage doesn't stop within the cockpit. It acts as a force multiplier, seamlessly sharing this processed data with friendly forces across the entire theater of operations. Imagine the impact. An F-35 stealthily penetrating enemy airspace can pinpoint targets for ground-based missile batteries, guide naval strikes, or even enable legacy, non-stealthy fourth-generation fighters to engage the enemy more effectively. The aircraft's stealth is achieved through a combination of design, tactics and materials that minimize the radar cross-section, or RCS, and infrared signature. This allows the F-35 to penetrate enemy defenses undetected, a critical advantage in modern warfare. The F-35's versatility is further enhanced by its three variants. The F-35A, conventional takeoff and landing. F-35B, short takeoff and vertical landing. and F-35C carrier variant. This allows it to serve across the Air Force, Marine Corps and Navy, streamlining operations and reducing maintenance costs. The aircraft also boasts a high degree of interoperability, capable of operating alongside NATO and Allied forces seamlessly. Innovations such as the Automatic Logistics Information System, or ALIS, and its successor, the Operational Data Integrated Network, or ODIN, promise to revolutionize maintenance and support, reducing downtime and ensuring the F-35 fleet remains ready and capable. However, these systems have faced their own set of challenges and criticisms, particularly concerning security and operational efficiency. Despite its controversies, the F-35 program has made significant strides in recent years, with costs per unit decreasing as production ramps up. This concludes our episode that provides a glimpse into American air power. There are, of course, many other remarkable aircraft in the US military's inventory. So what do you think about these iconic aircraft? What other pieces of military hardware would you like us to cover in our future episodes? Also, if you were lucky enough to see one of the aircraft mentioned in this video up close, or better yet, flew one, please comment. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.